am Veena Chandra and I am Indian classical musician and I am a sitar player and uh, I teach and perform. My father was into music and uh, that's how he named me Veena because Veena is an ancient uh, instrument, predecessor of sitar and hoping that I would learn music. Actually, I was lucky enough that he had everything in the house. He would play sitar, play flute. He would teach her a little tabla, and harmonium. And six, seven year old, I knew that I was going to do music. I was really good at it, and I wanted to do that much more than anything else in my life. And then slowly, I took it in school. And then I got very intense at the age of 15, 16. I was playing like eight hours, wanted to be a musician. In the college, we had girls, those who would take, right? Um, but to come this far in the field was not, uh, you know, something that women did. It's very challenging because uh, people really don't support you and they expect everything else done to find time for you to play. I mean, I did all the housework when I was growing up. And I would get up early morning, like 4 o'clock. <laughs> My day started then and uh, play three hours before I go to college. I would come home and play another two hours and prepare dinner and everything. And then I got married and I, I was in the village and, you know, I had to do all the chores in the house. And I was much more into music than anything else. It made me feel great. I had a lot of energy because of music, you know, I thought I was like, you know, dashing out. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't think anything was impossible in life, you know, but, you know, that's, I was young, so I didn't know the life. I, I grew on and off, you know, not that much as people have, you know. Because uh, in our culture, we don't send the girls to this place, that place, or to that teacher, or to that teacher, because they have some stories behind them and all that, and it's not safe. So the girls are not allowed. You know, so I wasn't allowed to go places to play and all that when I was growing up, just at home or college. So I did a conservatory school diploma on the side. And then I was preparing for the final diploma. Then I got married and I said, okay, I want to do this before I come to USA. So I did that in 1968. I did a like, master's in music at that point. Then I did another master's and I became a professor at the college where I did master's. So I came here with the three children and started the life from the scratch again. I brought a sitar with me, I brought a harmonium and a tabla with me. That's my luggage. And one suitcase with everybody's clothes. I can't even imagine I did not have a hard case. I had an ordinary case to put my sitar, but I packed it well with the clothes and everything. I put kids' clothes, my clothes in there, so it'll be good. And the following year, the other three kids came. Yeah, they all learned music when they were growing up because they were in the musical environment. Devish was only two years old when we came. When he was uh, young and he used to go with me to the performances, he would go on the stage, he would just sit next to me. I had set him up with a tabla so I can practice. I mean, at the age of three, he started real playing. He would be telling people how to put their fingers. He would be watching me and he would be doing the same thing. Every night we would come and, you know, play here. 
then sometimes you say, Mom, I'm, I'm really sleepy, you know, <laughs> go to sleep then. I say what makes a person is a self-motivation. I had a great self-motivation. You have to have a great guru, your teacher, and um, God's grace. So I, I had two things, uh, self-motivation and God's grace. My music is very spiritual when I play. I mean, I'm still going maybe a little slower than the other speed. But um, there's a lot to do, you know. I am more spiritual and all that, so that, you know, prayers and all that, that takes up time, doing chores around the house, that takes up time. I don't find time. I, I think 24 hours is less for me. I mean, I'm pretty satisfied. I don't care if I get to do much more or not. Or, become famous or not. As long as I'm doing things that I like to do and teach, and um, if I can be of inspiration to a uh, younger generation, I think, you know, that's, that's great. Music is this soul. Music is the soul. <laughs>